gonna do it. Thank you all for checking out True Blue Bobbleheads. We are the True Blue Bobblehead crew. I am Turbo. And I'm Ben. And today we're gonna go ahead and talk about a 2015 MLB All-Star. Jock Peterson. Yes, and this bobblehead was given away by the Quakes on April 22nd, 2016. All right, guys, let's jump into the box. All right, everybody, now let's get into the box. So this box of the bobblehead of Jock Peterson, as it shows here on the front, the actual picture of the bobblehead, showcasing his name, Jock Peterson. And on this side of the box, it's actually showing the sponsor of the bobblehead for that night. And on this other side of the box, it's actually showing him himself and the Quakes logo. And on this other side of the box, it's showcasing some special facts of him. His name, Jock Peterson, a picture of himself, as well as his number 31, and also stating that he's an outfielder. And on the top of the box, it actually shows the logo of the Cucamonga Quakes. So that's the box of the Jock Peterson bobblehead. Now Turbo's going to come back and join us, and he's actually going to show us the bobblehead. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you guys the bobblehead. Let's start at the base. Now, at the base of the bobblehead, it does have Jock Peterson's name right there, okay? Right above it is the sponsor's name, okay? Now, I love the detail on this bobblehead. You can even start at the shin guard right here and how detailed, and you can tell really the different parts of it. You know, the, how it's attached to the cleat and the leg. Really, really good detail. Now, Jock Peterson is in his home Quakes jersey, okay? He was number 31 with the Quakes when he played with them as well. Now, of course, with the Dodgers, he's number 31. You have the Quakes logo right there, but the arm's kind of blocking it a little bit. On the sleeve of the bobblehead, of course, you have the LA logo. And something that I like that's really, really cool is that I like when they go ahead and put the attire that the player actually wears on the bobbleheads. So in this pose, on this bobblehead, Jock Peterson is wearing his batting gloves, and he also has that sleeve on just the one arm like he does in real life. So I think that's really, really cool. Okay? So let me go ahead and swing it around that we guys can see the back a little bit. So here's the back of the bobblehead. Of course, it has his last name with the number 31. Okay. Now I do want to show you a feature on the bat. The bat actually detaches. So you can take off the bat and there's a little hole for it right there. And then you can put it back in. So really cool feature. And the bat, you know, is less likely to break because it's made of like plastic. Okay. So here's the face of Jock Peterson. As you can see on the face, it does have the eye black. So that's pretty cool. And then at the top of the head, you know, he does have his Quakes logo right here. Um, and then the batting helmet. Okay. All right, guys, so that's our look at the Jock Peterson bobblehead. Right now, Ben's going to go ahead and join me, and we're going to go ahead and rate this bobblehead. So the crew rates each bobblehead on a scale of 1 to 5. Each bobblehead starts off with 1 point. The bobblehead has the ability to earn an extra point in four different categories. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and rate this bobblehead. Okay, so the first category that we're going to talk about is going to be likeness. So the likeness for this bobblehead is going to be a half a point. Reasons being is, you know, it doesn't necessarily look like Jock Peterson, but I see that they're trying to portray the actual picture that's on the box. So they did a pretty good job with that. But all in all, it doesn't fully look like him. So that's why we think this category deserves a half a point, don't you think? That's fair. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the next category we're going to talk about is detail. Now, me and Ben really think that this is a great detailed bobblehead. In fact, we think all the Quakes bobbleheads they never have point. really good detail. Every single one. So for detail... One point. Exactly. This is definitely a one point category. So the next one that we're going to talk about is going to be pose. So the pose for this bobblehead for Jock Peterson, we're going to give it an actual point because, you know, we think it's a really good pose. We might have some differences in opinion, but we've still come to an agreement that we're going to give it a point. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that point because I think it's a really good-looking bobblehead, a really good-looking pose. I don't necessarily know if it's a Jock Peterson pose. I think, like, half the time. Because, honestly, when I look at clips of Jock Peterson swinging the bat, once, you know, he swings all the way through, he's still holding on to the bat, I'd say, at least 50% of the time. And there's times where he has that long swing to where, just like this is portraying, where, you know, he lets go of the bat, he's got that shoulder turn. And that's what they're portraying, but just like Turbo said, sometimes he does hold the bat. So Yeah, I mean, I see that out. more. So I was a little bit, you know, hesitant to give it a whole point, but I really like the way the pose is. I think they did a good job, and he, and he does do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Most of the time I see him holding the bat when he's swinging through, but I definitely think that pose gets a point. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Okay, so the next category we're going to talk about is standout. Does this bobblehead stand out? Now, me and Ben actually do have a difference of opinion on this. Ben, would you like to start? 
So the standout of this bobblehead, I really think it deserves a point. I think it's a great bobblehead. Just like we talked about previously, it's the Quake bobblehead. They do not disappoint. They give out great bobbleheads. And this one, once again, everything you see in this bobblehead, I think it portrays Jock Peterson. So I think they did a great job, other than the likeness. But other than that, they did a great job. So I'm giving this one a point. You know, there's no denying how good this bobblehead looks, mm -hmm. okay? But for the overall for it, I, I'm i going to give it a half a point for standout for myself because I feel like, for whatever reason, it just does have that standout, like that almost like an X factor to it, but not enough to me to give it a whole point. I just, yeah. I just for myself, I just don't feel like giving a whole okay. point is fair. So I'm going to give that category a half a point, which means we have different scores for this bobble. Ben? Exactly. So my score for this bobblehead is going to be a 4.5. Yes. 4.5 for him, and my score, my final rating for this bobble is a 4. So it's still really high. I think Great. we really are happy with this bobblehead. Definitely. So let's jump right into it. Ben, okay. final thoughts. So my final thoughts on this Jock Peterson bobblehead is that it is awesome. So I'm glad to have it. I know Turbo's glad to have it. you got to go get yours. It's in great detail. They never disappoint. All the Quake bobbleheads, they're, they're just... You know, everybody wants them. They're really, really popular. So, you know, get yours. Get this one. It's an awesome bobblehead. I'm glad it's Jock Peterson. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I really, really like it. When I saw the picture, I was like, wow, that looks like a really, really mm -hmm. cool bobblehead. And I know a lot of fans have been wanting a Jock Peterson bobblehead from the Dodgers. But let's be honest here. Last season, he started out great. Made the all-star team. Kind of fell off a little bit at the beginning of last season. So... I think the Dodgers were definitely hesitant to give him a bobblehead maybe this year to see how he performs. Who knows? He may still get one because the Dodgers still at this point haven't announced the number nine. But we'll see. But I know a lot of Dodger fans wanted a Jock Peterson bobblehead. Dodgers haven't announced one yet, but the Quakes did. And basically, they, um, yeah, a lot of people went out to get him. So I think the stadium almost stole it out. So my final thought is I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for checking out this review of the Jock Peterson Bobblehead for Turbo. And I'm Ben. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you for checking out the True Blue Bobblehead crew. You can also find them on Facebook at True Blue Bobbleheads and Instagram at True underscore Blue underscore Bobbleheads, Twitter at True Blue Crew 2, Snapchat at True Blue Crew 23. And remember, stay true, stay blue, we are the True Blue Bobblehead Crew.